So we have a very interesting issue with part seven of our series when we have the safe system that was set up. If you modify your safe system, let's say you want to add more properties to safe or want to remove some properties from being safe. What you will run into is when you play the game, you will find your character doesn't spawn after that. And this is really annoying and it's not obvious what the fix is because you can't move around as well. Like if I'm trying to press the button to move around, it doesn't work. And if you double click on the player, this can give you a hint of where the issue is. Because I double click on the player and you'll see that the player is actually positioned way out of the scene. So if you go into the scene view, you will see that he's just teleported to some weird place across the map. Now, this happens because of the way that the saving system works. When we save, the data is saved in binary, which means that if we save the data in the form of player health, player max health, player heart shards. To load the data, we have to do the same thing. We have to load the health first, followed by max health, followed by heart shards. Now, if we add a new attribute, this will mess up the order in which the attributes are loaded because if we add a new attribute, the first time that we load the attribute, it's going to be loading the player health because the previous save file only has three points of data instead of four. And what this does is that if you add new properties, right, this can mess up the order in which your properties are loaded. So let's say if I add a new property in this line over here, it's going to mess up the X and Y coordinates of the player. So if you add properties above or below player position X or Y, this can cause the values that are being read for the X and Y to be pushed away. And then this can cause the wrong X and Y values to be loaded. Now, this is actually a very easy thing to fix because all you got to do is just activate the save again, like by sitting on a bench. This will solve the issue. But if your player begins outside of the map anyway, then you have no control because you cannot move the player around. You cannot fix the issue. So what I'm proposing in my post over here, the link will be put in the description below. What I'm proposing is to create a new script or rather to modify the camera manager script so that whenever we move into a new scene, we are trying to reconfine the player into the bounds of the map. And the idea behind this is pretty simple because every scene that we have actually has a camera bounce like this. So what we got to do is that whenever the scene starts, all we got to check is to see that the player is within the boundaries of the camera. If the player is outside, then we will just attempt to teleport the player back which you see over here. So when the scene starts, we're just going to try and reconfine the player after waiting for 0.1 seconds. The reason why we wait for a while is because we want to make sure that the player's data is loaded. So the player's data is loaded in the start function of the player controller. So because of that, we want to wait for one tenth of a second before we invoke reconfine player. And what the reconfine player does is just scans the entire camera object under your camera manager because it's where we put the confiners, right? We scan all the confiners and check whether the player is in any one of the confiners. If the player is inside any one of these confiners, so for example, in cave three, we have one confiner here and second confiner in the boss room. So if the player is in either of these confiners, then we will just leave the player be. But if the player is outside of the confiners, we will teleport the player back into the scene. And there is even a little failsafe over here where when we teleport the player to the position, if you provide a position that is still outside of the map, then all we will do is we will try and teleport the player to the closest position inside the confiner. So let's say if your player is spawning, let's say here, the respawn position that you specify is here, it's going to try and pull the player back to the edge. So it's going to spawn at the default point that is specified in the game manager or it's going to spawn at the side. So this is just to make the game continue to be playable. Even if you spawn outside the map, you don't spawn outside and then just keep falling forever while your camera is stuck in one place. That is a really terrible situation to be in. Take note that for the code we just implemented the work, you will need to set the geometry type on your composite collider to read the geometry instead of the default outline option. Otherwise, the collider won't be able to detect when the player is inside of it. And that's really all about it. You can read the forum post that I've written to find out more details about this. The other thing that is updated as well is the game manager. It's just one little line over here that is added. And the reason that this one little line here is added, let me just show you what I mean. The problem is that if you change maps from where you started, the default respawn point doesn't actually update. So if you start playing the game in whatever scene that you start the game from, you will get a default respawn point that is a certain value. That is what you set when you are setting up the scene. So for example, this. The problem with this is that whenever you travel to different maps, you will get different respawn point values. For example, if I go to another scene, the default respawn point value is different, but this doesn't update. But if you go to cave three, you will see the default respawn point is actually something else, which is here. So the problem with this is that the default respawn point, if it doesn't update, then when you die in a different scene, it's going to spawn you in the coordinates of the old scene, which doesn't cut it, right? Because if you spawn in the old scene, you're spawning outside the map. So what we're going to do is that we are going to go to game manager as well and add this little line over here so that whenever you change C, your default respawn point changes. And then this prevents issues where you spawn outside of the map. So these are all just little problems that the save system has. There are edge cases like this that we have to account for. So now with the default respawn point update for added, you will see that when you change scenes, your default respawn point changes, which is really important. Otherwise, you're going to have uh, issues when you spawn outside the map again. You don't want to have issues like that.
And yeah, so that is all for this part. You can read about the whole thing under uh, at this URL. You will see later on in the description below. And the three things that I've brought up will be explained in more detail in the article as well. Article is free for everyone. So feel free to jump into the forums. And if you have any questions with your project, you need some help, some guidance, you can always make a post in the forums as well. And with that said, that is the end of this video. And thank you for your support. Thank you.